Uh, so I've been teaching for uh, six years. Um, I started my teaching uh, career um, actually involved in BTEC animal management, so kind of vocational, um, hands-on working with, with animals. Um, uh, I did that for a couple of years and then I've been teaching on the A-level biology course for the, for the last four years, um, which I've really enjoyed. <laughs> Um, so I chose teaching because um, I've always had uh, a, a real enjoyment from kind of sharing my, my passion for, for biology, uh, particularly zoology for me. So I've always enjoyed just talking to, to people about um, different animals, different species that I've kind of come across and um, just sharing that kind of uh, that, that joy that I have um, for the, the natural world. Uh, one of the things I enjoy most about teaching at Science College is um, the range of students that we have actually stud studying biology. They're able to um, bring different examples and different perspectives into the classroom. Um, so I really enjoy uh, being able to kind of learn from my students as well. And they'll come into the classroom and say, "Oh, Dave, did you, you know, did you hear about this on the news?" Or uh, and I'm like, "Oh, tell me more about it." Or we did this in this lesson and. And it's really nice when students make those connections. They say, oh, we, we did this thing on the brain in psychology and, and they make those connections, which is, which is really nice. So we organise um, a number of trips through, through both years. Um, so we do a trip to uh, Warwick University, which has been a fantastic trip where um, students get an experience, first of all, of, of what it's like to be a, a university student for the day at Warwick University, a very good university for, for biological sciences as well. Um, and we go there for a series of lectures on, generally on DNA and genetics and we get talks from um, leading scientists uh, nationally to come and tell us about their work which is, which is really good, fantastic. So that's a good trip. Um, we also run, run trips to Monkey World down in Dorset so um, that links in with our topics on, that we've done on primate behaviour, conservation, sustainability, um, so there's a good trip there. We do uh, field trips to Snowdonia. So we've done a field trip to Snowdonia, a residential trip for about four days where we develop students' um, sampling techniques and their ability to kind of think about um, uh, planning investigations, writing up results, uh, using kind of st uh, statistics to draw conclusions. Um, I'd, I guess I've probably got two heroes. Um, I think, as with probably most biology teachers, David Attenborough is going to be up there as just someone who's inspired me for, for so long um, with his just genuine enthusiasm to, to share with, with people. Um, so, uh, so David Attenborough certainly, and I've grown up with all of his documentaries and you know, I wanted to be David Attenborough for a number of years. Um, that or The Really Wild Show was a programme I loved when I was growing up. Um, so uh, certainly David Attenborough, but I think one of my other heroes, and I think without this person I wouldn't be a biology teacher today, um, is my own biology A-level teacher. So um, when I was doing my A-levels, I had um, a fantastic biology teacher who, who really inspired me and really made me want to pursue biology, specifically zoology, um, even more. So he was really enthusiastic and uh, uh, I've got a lot to kind of thank him for and it, it's him that's inspired me to also become a teacher of biology and, uh, and hopefully, hopefully inspire somebody else for the future to, to go on and do biology or, or even become a biology teacher. So that's a really good question. Um, I think looking at the speed with which um, gene therapy, gene technologies is developing, I think that's a really exciting field. Um, I think the applications of stem cell uh, technology is really exciting for, for medicine, regenerative medicine, um, solving issues with um, organ transplants and rejection and improving the quality of life for so many people. Um, there's some fantastic work looking at um, animals called axolotls that can regenerate their own limbs as well. So if they lose a limb, if they lose a digit, they can actually regrow them back. And I just think that would be amazing if people who've been in serious accidents, car accidents, or coming back from war-torn places, that that would you know, give them a, a, a new kind of quality of life. Um, so I think that's really exciting and, and looking at different ways of um, using stem cells. So, 
obviously a lot of controversial issues surrounding the use of stem cells, but if we could look at uh, induced pluripotent stem cells, so this is where you take a cell that's already specialised, if you can revert that back into a stem cell, uh, then it can go on to turn into different types of cells without the need for using um, embryonic stem cells. So I think that would be that would be really exciting to see what happens.